Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A circle contains two semicircles that are tangent to each other. Also, the diameters of these two semicircles are parallel chords of the large circle. If the large circle has an area equal to 1, what is the combined area of the two semicircles? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To get started, suppose the upper semicircle has a radius equal to A, and the lower semicircle has a radius equal to B. We will then construct a rectangle as follows. Two of its sides will be equal to A. We then have this distance is equal to the radius B minus A, so its distance will be equal to B minus A. The other side of the rectangle will have a length equal to A plus B. From here, we will extend this side of the rectangle to be a chord of the large circle. Suppose the length here is equal to x. We can solve for the value of x by the intersecting chords theorem. We have x multiplied by a plus b is equal to b minus a multiplied by a plus b. We'll solve for x and we'll cancel out the term a plus b in the numerator and the denominator. Thus, x is equal to b minus a. We then will simplify this diagram and we'll consider the following right triangle. Notice we have an inscribed angle that's equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, the chord opposite this 90 degree inscribed angle will be a diameter of the circle. In other words, this chord passes through the center of the circle and its length will be equal to 2 times the radius of the circle. We can then use my favorite right triangle theorem. We will have the square of 2a plus the square of 2b is equal to the square of 2r. We can square each of these terms and then simplify by dividing both sides by 4 to get a squared plus b squared is equal to r squared. From here we can solve the problem. The area of the large circle is equal to 1, which means pi r squared is equal to 1. We can then calculate the combined area of the two semicircles. It'll be equal to 1 half pi multiplied by a squared plus 1 half multiplied by pi multiplied by b squared. We can then simplify this, and we can then substitute that a squared plus b squared is equal to r squared. We thus have pi over 2 multiplied by r squared. But we know that pi r squared is equal to 1, therefore pi over 2 multiplied by r squared must be equal to 1 half. And that's the answer. It's rather remarkable that the combined area of the two semicircles is always equal to half the area of the large circle. This is true regardless of how the two semicircles are in the diagram. I think it's a fascinating result that two semicircles fill exactly half of the large circle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.